The SNP has relentlessly attacked Brexit since the historic referendum result in June 2016. Nicola Sturgeon's master plan for Scottish independence has been ripped to shreds with leading experts highlighting one major stumbling block the SNP has argued is one of the biggest negatives of Brexit. The Scottish Government recently released the third in a series of papers aimed at demonstrating how Scotland would function if it did indeed split from the rest of the UK. Trade and borders are two elements talked about in building a new Scotland, a stronger economy with independence. The SNP has launched furious attacks on Brexit, arguing it should be used as a mandate for Scottish independence as most of the country voted against a departure from the European Union in June 2016. But many experts have argued rejoining the EU, while reducing trade barriers and boosting trade with the bloc, would mean additional trade barriers with the rest of the UK. This would potentially negatively impact what are currently much bigger trade flows between Scotland and the rest of the UK, m, aching it less than certain rejoining the EU would boost growth. Jonathan Ports, Professor of Economics at King's College London and Senior Fellow at the UK in a Changing Europe, told Express, one of the big issues in this paper is new trade barriers with the UK. If, as the paper correctly states, Brexit has damaged the UK and Scottish economy by raising trade barriers with the EU, then it follows almost automatically that Skexit, by raising trade barriers between Scotland and England, Wales, will damage the Scottish economy. This will only partially be compensated by reduced barriers with the EU, just as UK trade deals with the rest of the world can only partially compensate for Brexit.